Hey fellas, Bianco here, and it's time for a vlog, and I would like to say, yes, I am back from my four-month hiatus. And believe me, I have a lot of stuff to talk about. First off, I know it's been four months ever since I left YouTube, and I want to let you guys know I'm back, I'm doing great and all, that's pretty much it. I have to say, I've turned 26 about four months ago, and I had fun on my birthday. I went to a Japanese restaurant called Aso. And to tell you the truth, I had a wonderful time there. Plus, I've also went to my little cousin's birthday party at my uncle's house. I had some fun, and a bunch of my cousin's friends poured sand on my pants, and it was pretty funny. I've been pretty busy with a lot of stuff like work and all kinds of things ever since I left. I had a nice happy Halloween, and I hope you all had a happy Halloween. All I did was stay home and pass out candies. I've seen kids dressed like Mario, Luigi, Bumblebee from Transformers, Buzz Lightyear from Toy Story, and I also saw a kid dye his hair blue and made his hair spiny to look like Sonic. Speaking of Sonic hairstyles, back in middle school, I've seen a kid with, with a spiky mohawk, and I've seen a kid with puffy rainbow hair. I am not making this joke up. I've seen kids in middle school and high school with such crazy hairstyles. Oh, and speaking of Halloween, Back when I was 14, at Desert Arroyo Middle School, I painted my face white, colored my hair purple, and put lines on each side of my face to look like Frieza from Dragon Ball Z. But I don't have a picture of me being Frieza, and I wish I could show it to you guys, but I don't have the picture with me right now. Anyway, I got Dragon Ball Raging Blast 2 back in November, and let me tell you, me and my brothers had a blast playing that game, and it comes with the remake of the 1993 Playdia movie called Plan to Eradicate the Super Saiyans. Never had the chance to watch it, but the voices are only Japanese, not English dub, but it has English subtitles. But it would be awesome to have it dubbed in English. And about the game, it has no story mode, I think. I think it does, or not. But it has this mode called Galaxy Mode. I don't know what that is. You also have some new characters like Android 13, also 14, 15, Cooler, Meta Cooler, and the like. Plus, I honestly love Freeze's new voice actor from Kai named Chris Ayers. And I think to myself, I've always wanted Frieza to talk like a dude rather than sound like an old lady. Also, Kid and Teen Gohan's voices are done by Colleen Clickenbeard and I don't have any problems with the voice actors in this game. One thing that pisses me off about this game is that you have to win a match near death. One punch and you're dead. Doesn't that piss you off? I also got this. Splatterhouse 4, but just called Splatterhouse. And I have to say, this game was totally fun, but bloody as all hell. And it was challenging. They also add some cool stuff in the game, like where your arm has been pulled off, you get to regenerate like Piccolo from Dragon Ball Z. You also have some upgrades. To buy them, you have to collect blood from your blood container. <laughs> Isn't that weird? You buy stuff with blood. Also, you get to play three, count them, three Splatterhouse games. The arcade Splatterhouse and the sequel on Sega Genesis. How cool is that that you can relive the classic Splatterhouse games on one disc. I also got terrible news. Big Al's original 2K6 account got suspended again, but this time by Toei. Ugh, again with this whole copyright infringement thing. In the words of 1987 Raphael from Turtles Forever, some people don't understand what fair use is. Know what I'm saying? However, I have all of Big Al's old videos, every single one of them from his old account, and everyone's going to be happy that I have all of them. Yes, I have his One Piece rants, all of them, his old reviews on Captain N Third Season, Robot Masters, Splatterhouse, Mortal Kombat Armageddon, you name it. But the thing is, how am I supposed to um give the creator of the Big Al 2K6 archive those videos? I have to make the files a little bit small, but that's the problem. I hope you all had a happy Thanksgiving. I know I did. We had Thanksgiving at my house. You know, my new one I moved in after the 4th of July. 
my whole family came over and we watched football while having Thanksgiving dinner. I had turkey, spiral ham, stuffing, etc. And boy was I stuffed. And I hope I made room for dessert. Well, that's what you get for eating too much on Thanksgiving. I have been watching a bunch of mo anime movies like Project Aiko. I have watched that movie twice. And to tell you the truth, I love it. It was full of action, science fiction, comedy, and all that stuff. Plus, here's something really weird about that movie. Women from outer space that look like men? Isn't that pretty weird? Well, tell you the truth, it is. But I do look forward to rewatching that movie again. Also, Little Nemo. And to tell you the truth, I haven't watched that movie for like 19 years. I've also seen Tenchi Muyo the movie, Tenchi in Love where they go back 26 years into the future to protect Tenchi's mother from a villain named Kane who escaped from the Galaxy Police headquarters. I've also seen the second movie, Daughter of Darkness, and I gotta tell you, this movie was pretty weird. A girl named Mayuka, who's Tenchi's daughter, and she calls him Daddy. But who's Mayuka's mother? I don't know. But she was actually a clone of Yazuha's DNA. And one thing about that movie, is that why are the characters moving so fast I would like to know here's a clip look how fast the animation is couldn't they just slow it down a little and I didn't want to watch the third movie because it has the same artwork as Tenchi in Tokyo so I didn't want to I wouldn't recommend watching that movie now speaking of Tenchi Muyo I have watched Tenchi Muyo on Toonami back in summer of June 2000 when they also aired the third season of Sailor Moon. You know, Sailor Moon S. Back then, you see, I've recorded a bunch of Tenchi Muyo episodes, except I didn't want to record the episode that was, like, pretty long, and they should have cut it to 30 minutes. I don't know which episode, but I believe it was the one with Ryoko's clone or something like that. I don't know. I have seen Tenchi Universe, which is one of my favorite series in which they featured Kione for the first time, and she's my favorite character. Not to mention Kakuto's in it, except that he looked different from the previous Tenchi Muyo series. And moving on to Tenchi in Tokyo. As a matter of fact, I have watched it, and I didn't like the artwork in that series. I kind of prefer the artwork from the previous series and the first two movies. But I am getting into the series, though. I hope you all had a Merry Christmas. And I hope Santa left you guys some gifts, or a lump of coal if you've been bad. I had a great Christmas, and it was at my aunt's house, as usual. And perhaps we had New Year's over there. And what did I get for Christmas, you ask? Well, I got a Rubik's Cube, Wii Sports Resort, and a pair of pajamas that has Oscar the Grouch from Sesame Street. And to tell you the truth, those were great gifts. Also, I have been getting comments from the Naratards because of my video on Big Al killing Naruto and me killing Sasuke. Oh, jeez. I thought it was bad enough for those Naruto fanboys for attacking Big Al, but now they're attacking me. Only two or five of them. Not that many. I'm going to show you some of the comments from them. This one's from Mega I Love Chocolate. This is fail. Oh my god, this butthurt Naruto fanboy said this video was fail. I can't believe what I'm seeing. And there's another one posted by Slasher Cheetah, and he wrote, Not funny. You worship a fat, and you're probably an adolescent nut who watches anime all day. How do you like it? Here's what I have to say about this. I don't, I don't think so, bub. I don't watch anime all day. Plus, I do not worship Big Al. He's not a god. He's a human being just like us. One more thing. Why don't you just leave the guy alone? Big Al does not deserve to be attacked by nosy trolls, haters, fanboys, and flamers because of his opinions. So what if he doesn't like Naruto? He doesn't have to explain that anymore. I, for one, despise that anime, and I couldn't give it a chance. So, flame me all you want. I don't care. If you like that anime, that's good. I understand your opinion. But if you attack me or flame me because I despise it, you can spank my monkey for all I care. And they're probably going to come up to me and say this. Well, why don't you just watch Naruto Shippuden? Uh, why would I want to watch that? Because it's darker. 
I don't want to burst your bubble, pal. It's not. It's the same thing as the previous series. At least I don't wear a Naruto headband like you guys. Oh, about the orange outfit? Uh, no. Just absolutely, positively, sincerely, no. That's not what a ninja should dress like. They're supposed to be all black. But I have seen a bunch of ninjas from anime and video games such as Ryu Hayabusa, who wears a blue ninja outfit, the ninja from Kinikuman, Murasaki and Shu from Dragon Ball, they dress like ninjas, except purple and dark purple. The ninjas from Mortal Kombat, like Reptile, Scorpion, Sub-Zero, Ermac, and the like, they're ninjas too, except with colored portions. Some black, but with colored portions. Except for Noob Saibot, he's the only one who's all completely black and has a scythe in Mortal Kombat 4 that makes him look badass. Shadow from Final Fantasy VI, also a ninja, and has a pet Rottweiler or a Doberman. I don't know what kind of dog that is in the game. Jago from Killer Instinct wears a bright blue ninja outfit. Oh, I forgot about Usagi Tsukino from Sailor Moon, dressed as a ninja. That counts. Not to mention a few others are more ninja than that spiky-haired, cat-whiskered freak, like Batman, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, and some characters from Dead or Alive dressed like ninjas. Now, those are ninjas. What you got here is a disaster. He doesn't look like a ninja to me. He looks like he's wearing winter clothes. Plus, he's completely unoriginal, he totally rips off everything, and that anime rips off other anime series as well. Oh, by the way, Batman a ninja? That I did not see that coming since I've watched one of Random DC's older videos. But, well said. Now, what else to talk about? Oh yeah, there's going to be a new Thundercats series coming to Cartoon Network. It's been like 25 or 26 years now and they're coming back. And I do look forward to see it. I mean, we haven't seen the trailer yet, have we? I also have some bad news. My uncle's dog passed away. And I feel kind of sad, but he will be a miss. There is also one person in my family who died as well, my grandfather. He passed away November 11, 2008. And my entire family was sad. So was I. I have a little picture of him on the newspaper, and I wrote an article of him. But at this moment, I don't have it with me right now. Oh, and I know what you're thinking. What about Wii Sports? Should you tell us about that game? Yes, I should. I have to say, it was fun as hell, that game. You have 12 sports that you can play, such as sword fighting, frisbee throwing, basketball, table tennis, and all kinds of sports. Plus, as a bonus, it comes with the Wii Motion Plus accessory. I've also went to visit my school to see my old teachers before Thanksgiving which was back in November 22nd, 2010. Yeah, the school, uh, Cactus Shadows High School, yes, I went there once. And I had a wonderful time seeing them again. I brought my Wii to play with several of my friends over there. I had lunch with them and all, but I couldn't believe in my eyes how it changed ever since I've graduated six years ago. I used to have a paid job at Desert Arroyo Middle School preparing food, and every Friday I served the kids pizza and ice cream. But alas, Desert Arroyo Middle School has been closed, and all the people who work there lost their jobs over there. At least they work at Cactus Shadows now. Someday, Desert Arroyo will be resurrected, or who knows. Also, my mom's birthday is today, and we're going to go out for some ice cream for her birthday. Don't know where, probably Baskin Robbins, Cold, Cold Stone, or any of those places that have ice cream. Well, I don't have anything to talk about. I'm back. Just want to let you guys know. I'm doing great and all, and I hope you enjoyed this vlog. Till then, this is Biako. Roger and out!